mimi napongeza equity sasa hizi baza ongea mali mambo yenyewe anaongea kwa sababu ya equity sita pesa fault i wouldn't come this far equity <laughs> Inuka na Equity Bank. This is Joseph Abeka, a teacher who has realized the income potential in housing the rural community in his home village in Rachuonyo. Abeka has invested in brick making for housing in the area close to Lake Victoria where building stones are scarce. He started by building this fine house for his family. I had never imagined that he would have a permanent house. I tried talking to people who had built permanent houses and it was quite discouraging. So me had given up. I first of all I did not know about equity bank. When I heard about equity, I did not want to go in. I would pass it. Then I pass it, pass it. Next time I decided to go in to find out. And I got close to some people there. And they explained to me a lot of things. Then I just tried. I took a small loan of um, I think it was it fifty thousand. The first thing I did was to look for bricks and what and what and what. And the building took place. In a short time, two months the building was up. And I said, so these things are possible. After building this one here, I saw I can also have a storage building. And I, I've seen how much money it can pay in Kisumu. They're now breaking, making bricks down here, because transporting bricks for your bond and so on, and the ones we make here are more expensive than the ones for your bond. The number of schools have increased here, and uh, many people are now building these kind of houses. So it can take time before they're sold, but at least you'll, you'll, so you'll have some people to take them. When this one falls down, eh? then we use, this, we use this soil. The bricks making investment involves buying remnants of traditional houses built of mud or mixing soil with water and grass to mold the bricks from the mud. Most of the bricks are brought from the location of manufacture to put up residential houses. In many cases, the bricks are used to build churches and schools. Income from the bricks has enabled Abeka to buy a fresh and calf, pioneering dairy farming in the village with the exotic breed that could provide enough milk for his household and for sale. I'm able to carry on some project like this car was not given birth. Uh, taking care of it is expensive, it's a high feeder, so some of the monies are used to buy food for it. With plentiful water in shallow wells, thanks to a high water table near the lake, Abeka plans to exploit the market demand for fish by investing in several ponds to practice fish farming. I want to look for a water pump and have fish ponds here, about 10. And this water can be pumped to those ponds every day in the evening. And I'll tell you that if I have 10 fish ponds and I have 10, I have 1,000 fishlings in each one of them, there will be 10,000. If they are till up here, by the end of six, 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 uh, sixth month, I'll be selling them at 300 shillings each. So 300 times 10,000, about 3 million is just outside my fence here. Inuka na Equity Bank. <laughs>